All right, guys, so this will be a series of videos about unwrapping uh, from Maya to ZBrush. So here we have a skin character. Um, it's been skinned up and rigged. So we just duplicate the mesh um, and then hide the rest of the geo. So we've just got the mesh, the duplicated mesh up. Now we just put some UVs. It doesn't really matter in Maya. We're going to use uh, ZBrush to unwrap the UVs. So we just now pick the seams in Maya. So that's sort of what we use Maya for. And you can <coughs> come in and cut the UV edges using the UV editor. Maya and just break apart the model is really what we need to do now. You can keep going and keep breaking the model apart until um, you've unwrapped it into all the different separated parts. Make sure they're in the, the 1 to 0 UV space and then send it to ZBrush. And what we use in ZBrush is this thing called UV Master and it just does an automatic unwrap. So that's sort of what it does with just the click of a button and it's really lovely. It's much better than Maya's unfold tool. So we just unflatten it. <coughs> and then we export it back into Maya. Um, now at this stage we have a few different meshes. We've got one from ZBrush and the duplicated one. Uh, ZBrush actually triangulates some of our models, so we've just got to transfer the UVs back onto the duplicated mesh. And that's pretty easy to do just with our local settings or topology. So we can transfer them back to the duplicated mesh. Uh, and uh, at this stage we can sort of just come in and tweak our UVs a little bit, sort of place them a bit better how we want. Um, ZBrush turns them upside down. Uh, the last step is we need to get back onto the skin mesh, so we need to do this without creating extra history. So uh, the way that we do this is we actually bring up the original node, and uh, this is hidden, so there's a little bit of a trick to get to this, uh, and we just make it uh, untick the intermediate object, um, and then we just have to transfer the UVs to the intermediate object, not to the actual skin mesh. So we just do that in much the same way, and then we delete history on the original face, on the original node, and then switch back on the intermediate object that will hide it from us. Um, and we now have UVs. So that's the process, guys. Um, hope you enjoy.